Once a believer understands his authority, there are things that happen to other people that disturbs other people that doesn't even get to you at all. And the reason why is that you understand your authority. Some of you are very educated, so the way you choose to deal with it is to ignore it and be like, well, I don't want to think about things like that. And that way is also faulty. Sometimes you, you go on social media, Facebook, and you are, you are harassed by what Christians do in the name of getting a miracle. You are totally blown away that you mean that someone will go through all of this to get a miracle. But when you see the people that fall into those prey, something is common with them. They do not understand their authority in Christ. If you understand your authority in Christ, you will not even need to go to a pastor for some prayers. Because you will know who you are in Christ, what you have in Christ, and what you can do in Christ. What is the use of you speaking in tongues if you cannot confront ordinary marine spirits? There are many of you here, there's a problem, they will take you to the mountain to wash your head. What are they washing your head from? And someone say, Pastor, I know my background, I know what they've done to me. Whatever they've done to you, there's authority in the name of Jesus Christ. In your family, you should not allow some things to happen. And that's why every month when we do the NLP fasting and prayer, the reason why we're saying that we're setting the tone for how the month will be. There are some things that we will not allow. How can you be in the family and everybody is struggling under the curse of poverty? Why are you there? You are there to break it. There are some things that you being there should affect the whole family. Because you're a child of power. You know, many of you, you think you're very smart. That's your biggest problem. Because the one that is very smart becomes full of himself and has no space for God to assist him. That's a big challenge. You think you're very smart. There's a way you want to run it. Have you not noticed? The people that think they're the prettiest have no husbands. They have no husbands. The people that think they're the smartest, they're the ones they do the biggest. Because the race is not to the swift. The battle is not to the strong. It's this God that shows mercy. You will just see someone made a lot of money. You'll be like, what was, I'm more brilliant than this guy. Have you noticed? People that are doing well the most in your set were not the first class students. Where are the first class students? They're in the offices with tie. They have tie. They have first class, but they, yeah, they don't have money. They were the ones that were sagging their jeans and were doing... The reason why is that sometimes be careful not to brag in what is not, what's not real. Learn to value God's presence. Learn to, learn to stay and just fall and say, Lord, I want to know. Many of you, the things have brought you to where you are, you've stopped doing it. There was a time you were giving to prayer, midnight prayer, early morning prayer. But now, success has come. The tendency is that as you do well in life, you begin to put your trust in what you do well in. The tendency is as you do well, your trust will begin to be in those things. But I will put my trust in him. They say they that put their trust in him will not be ashamed. The question is that how is the secret place? How is your place of prayer? How is your place of worship? Do you just come to church to match register? You need incentive to come to church. They must call you and follow you up and say, come to church. They must call you for NLP prayer. My brother, who are you? You are dust that God gave life to. Because they are calling you chief and sir, you are getting confused of who you really are. Ah, don't let the title confuse you. Dust shada, dust shada return. When Queen Elizabeth died, the last thing they said was, let's lower Elizabeth. No more queen. Elizabeth. He said, let's strip her of all of her honor and lower Elizabeth back to the grave. And the reason why I'm saying so is that some of you just need to be reminded that car is wonderful. House is wonderful. Ease is wonderful. But at the center of it all, it's you. I see. be careful be careful because the, the more successful you are the, the stronger you can become stubborn to the holy ghost when, when you were young and you didn't have anything turn right you will turn right turn left you will turn left but as you grow older you said um all this fasting what was the purpose what am i even fasting for you now have an opinion when the holy ghost is talking you you now have an opinion when the holy ghost is talking the one that made you is talking you now have an opinion the holy ghost said give you are arguing. The reason why is that it was because there's now something to give. When there was nothing to give, you even gave by faith. At the center of it all, it's you, it's you that, that I, I see. see. It's, you it's you that, that I, I see. see. Oh Lord, at, at the, the center, center of, of it all, it's, it's you that, that I see. It's you that I see. It's you that I Ashilema Taya. Where's the trauma? I take him and I dash. There is power in your name. Miracles happen in your name. 
In your name, in your name, in your name, Lord. As we lift our voice and pray, it's you that I seek. It's you that I seek. At all of our knuckles, it's you that I. Listen to me, someone. I don't know how many of you feel as if God is done, but what you think is an end is a bend. I don't know if you heard me. What you think is an end is actually a bend. When you come to what you think is the end of the end, then there's another way right there. Because we serve a mighty God that answers prayers.